no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. So I'm here on Newbie Farm, uh, just setting up a little save game for me to mess around on. Uh, mess around with some old equipment. Um, but, okay, how do I get back to the farm now? It's a little bit different than when I used to play it here. But um, I figured I should get an update out for you guys. Uh, and get that going to update you guys on some things that have been happening and what's to come um, so as you guys know I haven't been recording lately or haven't been uploading or active or anything like that lately um, I just I got I ran out of time I didn't get around to doing the things that I had hoped to do and um, then as you guys know yesterday I had my root canal uh, I'm doing much better today in fact it actually didn't phase me that bad but um, so I'm doing much better um, I was at the farm over the weekend we really didn't get anything done about the most that we did was my dad and I looked at uh, one of our balers uh, to see how badly it was messed up because uh, a few weeks ago he was bailing and had a bearing go out in one of the rollers and the roller uh, fell down and turns out it bent one of the side panels on the baler a little bit so um, we were trying to see if we could figure out something to do with that and then um, we had our family reunion Saturday so that took pretty much the whole day and uh, didn't really do anything uh, Sunday or Monday there uh, and Tuesday I was away from home doing stuff all day so just didn't really get much of a chance to record anything and um, whatnot but I do have some good news uh, if you don't already know about the upper Mississippi River Valley map or UMRV uh, for short um, it is a map in the works uh, by a guy. He's on Facebook. Uh, you can go check him out. I will put the link to his page down below. Um, so that way you guys can go find it. And um, anyhow, he announced that tomorrow, uh, the 18th, being Friday, he is releasing version 2 of UMRV along with a bunch of mod packs for it. Um, and back when I asked you guys about whether I should, you know, like what map I should do a series on, uh, Upper Mississippi River Valley was one that was suggested quite a bit. Um, and the beta version I wasn't going to do because it had a lot of issues. Uh, from what I heard, it didn't have any cell points cor that worked correctly or anything like that. I'm not sure. I just didn't want to mess with it. Um, I wanted to wait until version 2 came out which it is um, so I will be doing a series on that starting on Monday uh, and that's the map that I'll be playing on until my new map is finished a um, little update on that I've been working on it off and on here and there uh, getting little bits of stuff done on it so far I am about uh, 50 60 percent done with my highways uh, there's going to be two main highways running through the map. Um, one runs straight across the top, and then another one kind of comes down and then curves across the river a little bit. So, um, you know, a nice setup there. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh, maybe I should not fold that up. Um, and then once I get done with that, I have two, I have a big river running through the middle of it, kind of. Um, or it's not very wide, but just a little river running through it. Uh, what else? So, I have two spots where the highway crosses the river, so I have bridges going across it. Um, 
after I'm done with, uh, well, and I've been adding in the grass as I go as well. Uh, I have about four different kinds of grass along the, um, or three different kinds of grass along the, along the river. So, going to be kind of neat there. Um, and I'm working on getting grass covering the rest of the map as well. Um, so that it, you know, it's covered and then I can just work on deleting it as I go. Uh, or adding more as I go if I miss some, uh, you know, whatever. Uh, I will be doing videos on it. Um, I've had a few people ask me to do live streams on it. I'm probably not going to do... I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to do those at all. But they're not going to be very frequent. Uh, compared to, like... Um, uh, you know, like I will be doing videos. Uh, I don't know how often I'll be doing the videos either. Uh, those are just going to be kind of... You know, mostly updates. I will do some stuff while I'm working on the map and whatnot too, but it's mostly going to be updates. Uh, I'll be doing one as soon as I get the highway finished. Um, I will have one out then. Oops, wrong button. Um, to show you guys what I've done so far. Once I get done with the highways, I'm going to put in a bunch of gravel roads. Um, and then after that, I'll go ahead and start with putting in farms and then the fields. Uh, well, I ha do have to do the town as well. Um, with the map, I took DEM terrain, uh, you, which is you get terrain using Google Earth. Uh, I took that from around, what did I do, Beulah, North Dakota, uh, just west of it. Uh, and... Uh, Uh, then the rest of it I'm just doing from my own imagination I'm just creating it how I want it uh, it will have dairy and probably pigs on it as well uh, sadly we don't have beef yet in 17 which would be nice but uh, we don't quite yet hopefully soon um, and you know when and if it does come out uh, I will add it to my map right away, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't know if there's anything really else to tell about that. Um, yeah, so I will be back to doing videos on month, starting on Monday. Um, I may do a couple videos on this over the weekend, just kind of have some videos out for you guys. Uh, I am going to a rodeo on Saturday as well. Maybe I'll take the GoPro along and get some video at the rodeo. Um, we'll see. <clears throat> um, but I think I probably will do a couple videos on this over the weekend. Just to kind of have some filler. Uh, get some videos out. Uh, what else? Um, also, I want to know if you guys want me to keep doing the webcam uh, or not. Uh, if you guys enjoy it or if you think I should get rid of it. Um, it honestly doesn't make any difference to me, but uh, I'd like to hear your guys' feedback. Um, one kind of funny thing about this tractor, uh, if you guys remember a couple of my videos from the farm where I was raking uh, you'd remember uh, our 1466 well this is a 1466 here too uh, pretty much exactly the same except I just don't have duels on this uh, our tractor does have the duels but I saw this tractor in a pack that I downloaded and uh, was super excited kind of nice to have a 1466 uh, this one you it has all kinds of different uh, store options. I'll show you guys here. Um, so you got 766, 766 black stripe. You got the 966. Uh, every single one of these has a regular and a black stripe uh, option. Then you got 1066, 1466, and 1566. And you can have it with duels or no duels. You can have no cab. 
the white deluxe cab, which is what I have, the red deluxe cab, which is uh, basically this cab, except it's just all red. There's no black on it. And then the black stripe deluxe cab, which you see in that picture there. Um, if you look, I've got all kinds of old internationals. I've got some Alice Chalmers. Uh, I've got some Case. Um, I've got some old John Deere's. I've got a couple of old Masseys, old Olivers, uh, old Steiger, some old Versatiles. Uh, this Versatile here. Uh, we got a pack of International tractors. Um, and a lot of this old stuff that I'm using on this save game is either uh, from... A lot of it's from Facebook. Um mostly from two different groups one of them being farming simulator anarchy and the other being uh, small american farming farming simulator or something like that um, there's all kinds of different mods released in there like the cultivator that we're using um, and the grain trailer i think are both from they're both from the massey ferguson pack that was released on the official mod hub um, and then like here this is a 1026 this one it has uh, the diesel or the hydro version this is the hydro I got the duels on it and I got the ice cream box cab on it so the two tractors we're using the Gleaner N6 uh, the plow the uh, corn planter the tool or the toolbar cultivator here and the headers uh, are all from one of those two Facebook groups. Uh, let's see, the cultivator and the planter is from Anarchy. The rest is from uh, Small American Farming, and then the Massey stuff like our tipper, our grain drill, and our corn planter. Those are all from uh, those three things are from the. Uh, mine part here. Uh, from the Massey Ferguson pack on the official mod hub. You know what? Oh, guess the brakes don't work that well. I'm actually just gonna reset this stuff because it'll be a little bit faster here. It's kind of taking a while to drive back and forth. I don't want to sit and drive back and forth the entire time. But um. Yeah, so, lots of great stuff. Uh, there's all kinds of different packs of things uh, in Small American Farming. There's all kinds of mods in Anarchy. Uh, just all kinds of different things out there now. Uh, so, whoa, tractor's a little bit tippy as well. I'm actually thinking I might take the duels off of that 1026. I don't really need them on there. So we'll get uh, the little toolbox placed. And, um, we will customize that a little bit to get rid of the... Uh, Duels. I don't know, maybe I might get rid of the cab or get a different cab on it as well. I am a little bit low on money too, so can't exactly uh, be buying all kinds of stuff because I still have to get a couple fields, uh, which I'm just going to lease a couple of fields. So that cultivator there acts as a weeder. Um, Basically, it just fertilizes, so I'll be using that uh, for the fertilizing. I do also have one mod that I want to kind of show you guys because I think it's kind of neat, and uh, it'll be great. Uh, it'll be kind of neat. Show you guys it here in just a moment. So, 
if I press left control Z, it brings up this tablet thing. Um, except it does cost money to buy these apps. You know, it costs in-game money, of course. Um, so this is from the official website. So er all four of these things are their own separate mods. The tablet is it is one itself. The factory app is its own thing. The farm silo app is its own thing, and the horse management is its own thing. Now, as I said, it does cost money to buy all of these, and then as you can see, we have a battery percentage here. Uh, it's at 98% right now. To charge it. Uh, close that to charge it you have to place this building right here uh, it's got the charging station in it and all that stuff but uh, yeah so I might use that a little bit as well uh, I did not take out any loan so um, I'm quite okay if I need a little extra cash because I do have the ability to take out that loan um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get the toolbox so we can get the duels off of this tractor place it somewhere just so that I can get it getting that header there okay I guess I'm gonna have to back the tractor up first so as you can see this tractor also has dynamic exhaust on it which is pretty cool um, it is a neat script so we're gonna go ahead single tri ribs no hub uh, we'll go with the hubs. Uh, we have the diamond cab, the open station, the ROPs, ROPs with canopy, Hineker cab. Let's check out the Hineker cab. Okay, so that's the Hineker cab. Not bad. Um, let's check out the diamond cab. Okay, I like the diamond cab the most. So we will go ahead, we're just going to stick this, where can we stick this? Oh. We'll throw this back here, in case we need to use it later on. So this here is the Galener. Um, this one you can select either the N6 or the N7. You have your choice. Uh, this was a poly model that uh, someone in gamed. Uh, and they actually got the pipe fold correct. I know there was a few people that wanted to in game this combine, but none of them could figure out that animation there for the auger. Uh, but somebody figured it out, so. <laughs> definitely got a lot of lights on this thing as well so I'll just finish this video off by parking some stuff um, we just gotta put the header away put the combine away and put the 1026 away and then that'll be all for the video and like I said I will do a couple of videos on this uh, for the weekend uh, for Friday Saturday Sunday so you guys will see those uh, coming out uh, and they probably they might be a little longer videos just because you know who knows we'll see I guess see how I feel uh, how long I feel like recording for So this tractor is pretty nice as well. So 
So we do have the hubs on both the tractors just in case we ever do put duels on them. So yeah. Alright guys, um, so well, I guess we'll see you back on this map tomorrow. Uh, actually, we got to get a couple of fields here as well. Uh, so I want to get 10. Let's see, 7, 8, 10, and 11. And we're just going to lease them. Instead of buying them. Because we don't quite have the money yet to buy them. So that is uh, these four fields right around the home farm here. So it's this one, this one, and then uh, these three here as well, I believe, right? Oh, no, I didn't get six. So just these two here. Well, that's plenty to start off with. So I do have the periodic plowing on. So we will need to plow uh, the ground. Which is where our Glencoe will come in. So this, or this is an international painted Glencoe. Uh, then we got the Massey Ferguson 23 cultivator. We got the John Deere, I don't know, eight row planter. Uh, the Massey 30 uh, grain drill. We got the John Deere toolbar. We got the Massey Ferguson 140. Uh, the 1466, the 1206, the Gleaner N6, the 18 foot head, and then the 6 row corn head. So that's what I'm going to start off with. I do plan to get into uh, the cattle later on as well. Uh, maybe in a season or so after I've gotten the money for it. Um, I don't want to take out a loan right now and get the cat, you know, the stuff to get cattle. Uh, or to, you know, buy the equipment, but I'd buy like the, maybe the disc buying or something. You know, I buy a smaller mower. Um, I got a little seven foot tether there. Uh, I'd probably get this rake or something. Um, get a loading wagon, get a baler, you know, so I'll do that stuff later on. And, um, I know a lot of people... They wanted me to do like a couple of series at a time. Um, and I may see about doing that, doing like this map and Upper Mississippi River Valley. Um, I'm If I do things that way, I'm not exactly sure how I'll set it up. Maybe like, I don't know yet, I guess. I'll figure something out. But uh, yeah, so like I said guys, let me know down below. If you want the webcam to stay or to go. And then uh, starting on Monday we will be doing videos on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday I will have videos on this. And then um, maybe possibly a video at the rodeo. But uh, no promises on that one. But otherwise guys, that will do it for me for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.